Hey there, friends. I hope that all of you are having a sweet Saturday. We are waiting on snow, so that's what's going on here. <laughs> I've finished a few flow pockets to get into the shop today. I should have these listed this evening sometime. I just wanted to take you through these. I appreciate your positive feedback on these on my Etsy store. Thank you guys so much. It just absolutely means the world to me to be able to create something uh, that you guys are just loving and it just makes me so happy. I really just can't tell you how happy that makes me. Let's go in and take a look at this flow pocket. Close your eyes. Okay, we're good. All right. Our first pocket is called Lovely. Now, if you remember, this is a, uh, it's, it's uh, a, a, a little nook, a little corner with puffy pillows. There are some herbs in pots here. There's some beautiful little, um, little um, tchotchkes, the little birds right here. Uh, this would be a perfect place for you to have tea. And, you know, do you remember uh, in Cinderella, uh, my own little corner, my own little chair, in my own little corner, in my own little chair, I can be whatever I want to be. Remember that song? And this is your spot, and it is lovely. This is your own little corner. This is a pocket about the life of Mr. Morrow. Um, after he was married, uh, shortly after he was married, he was shipped off overseas uh, during the war, and he met this young woman, her name was Greta, and he met her in Germany, and she was a lovely girl, but she was terribly impoverished, and he just felt like in his heart he just had to help her, and that led to him falling in love with her, and then, you know, Greta became a child, but Mr. Morrow told her that he could not marry her because he was married already, but he did promise for all of his life to take care of Greta and her son, and he did that. At the end of his life, when he passed away, his wife um, discovered uh, a key, and there's a fabric key back here, and Greta's letters to Mr. Morrow, and as well as um, some documents from that period. So just the life of Mr. Morrow here as the way that I envision it. Of course, these pockets are your story pockets, friends. You can envision it any way you want. This pocket is, it's got a kitty cat and a little doggy, and the cat is sitting on the dog. All orders promptly attended to. There's some little bit of fabric right here that says meow. This pocket is about flowers and butterflies and anything spring. It's got a bird right here. This pocket says favorites. Um, I think as girl people, and I've talked about this before, we kind of get away from our favorites. We kind of lose our, we can't remember our favorites because we're all wrapped up in someone else's. So this uh, helps you, this little pocket might help you hone in and define, you know, colors, textures, words, um, just, you know, patterns, anything that, that you need to refer to as your favorite. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful bathroom here, you guys. We've got a claw-footed tub. Who doesn't want that? Claw-footed tub, a hot bath, a bottle of wine. Yes, this life belongs to you, my dear. There is a picture of a young girl right here, and she's very despondent. And we think that um, this despondency and heartbreak um, in early life caused her to be fierce and strong. And this is... Uh, Katniss from The Hunger Games. Um, this pocket says care and attention, and it has some lace, um, some very vintage, uh, a vintage dress image right here, as well as uh, a couture image right here. So I think that would be fun for you guys to play with. The next pocket is so happy, and it is about a couple who has retired, and they have rented a Hummer, and they are going to the, um, the Italian wine country. So we have some wine right here. We have their Hummer. We have this happy couple. Uh, there are maps back here and all kinds of fun things for you guys to put together a story with. 
This pocket says art, and these are Picasso stamps. This is a pocket about Ray, and Ray is a hardworking guy in a 1960s office. He is actually, um, he is a sketch artist at a large advertising firm, but he's also a gambler at night, and in order to work all day and gamble all night, he needs lots of coffee, and then his art takes this bizarre turn. So, hmm, we don't know what happens to poor Ray. <laughs> this is a pocket that says laughter, and it's a portion of paper cut from the book All Wrapped Up, the 60s wrapping paper book that we, we really do love. This is a young woman, and she is sketching her poodle. It says expressing. Um, this is a little girl, and she's holding up, looks like a paper mache heart. This is her daddy. There is a bond between a daughter and a father that just really cannot be broken. Here is an owl, and the word back there is a sticker, and it says up. Aha, we've got some Sherlock here. Um, Sherlock is on the, he is on the trail of a wine merchant. A wine merchant who professes to be an amateur doctor, and he loves to use mechanics and machinery to replace damaged bones. Well, the wine merchant keeps recruiting crew for his ship so he can transport wine, and he interviews these crew members at his home. Well, they keep disappearing, so Sherlock Holmes is on the case. This pocket says epic, and it is about training for the Olympics. This one says so giddy, and she's just a little girl with an umbrella and a flower, and she just looks like she is just having fun. She looks like she is so giddy. This is a pocket called Renaissance Man. Um, Renaissance Man is an accountant. Uh, we've got 1879 Ledger back here. He works very, very hard, but he is stealing from the company that he works for. He has uh, come up with a way to get cash from the cash drawer every night because he is supporting his little daughter. And uh, the mother has died, and the family lives in poverty, and so they have shipped his daughter off to his wife's parents who do not treat her well. He is doing everything he can to regain custody of his daughter. This is a pocket called Designed By, and it has lace in it. There's a button. There's a fabric key right here. We think this is all about a young designer, and she is a girl, and she is trying to make her way in that male-dominated uh, business. This says Picasso, and it says Paint. Um, this says Relax and Unwind. We've got a bottle of wine right here. These are some hardworking Japanese girls at a, a large design firm. We can imagine them writing at the end of the night, Dear Diary, and what did they do that day? This pocket says explore. Um, you know, whether you're exploring a new lifestyle, whether you're exploring a new religion, whether you're exploring, um, you know, maybe some health and wellness issues, exploring is a wonderful thing. Don't ever stop exploring. Just continue to explore every single day. Even if you don't live your, leave your house, like a lot of times I don't leave my house, you can still explore. The online is, is a great place to explore. I've been exploring all kinds of BBC documentaries lately and really enjoying that. This pocket says waiting. There's a huge full moon and a guy that looks like he is using a flip phone. I got these from old National Geographic magazine, so that very well could be. Um, this pocket says recycled, and there are some home elements back here. This one says dance. You know, Mama is really teaching the little girl all about housekeeping and sweeping and things like that. But really what she wants to do, she wants to be a dancer. Here is a pocket uh, called bundled, and it is some people sledding right here. 
This is a pocket called Opinions. This is a woman who was from the Dust Bowl. Uh, I'm sorry, Options. Um, she lived during the Dust Bowl. Her options were very, very limited. But each week she would try and find something to cheer herself up. And usually she would just buy herself one flower per week. And it was a beautiful red flower, any kind, geranium, rose, whatever was the cheapest is what she brought home and she put into a vase just to make herself feel better. This pocket says keepsake, and there are some food items in here, a little teapot and some macaroons. I love this pocket because it features an eye. It says rethink, and I think that now is a great time to rethink. Rethink your possibilities, rethink what you're doing for a living, rethink how you are conducting your life, rethink what you're saying, rethink what you're thinking. You know, the whole thing, the whole rethink is just a big, wide, uh, that's a, a great journaling prompt right there. <clears throat> Sorry. And this is a pocket that says elegant, and it has this beautiful mansion right there. <clears throat> Sorry, friends. This is a pocket that says happy. This is an old woman. If you flip this image over, there's an old man there. And they are old, and they don't have very much, but they are happy. Um, this pocket says rebalance. This one says home. This one says twinkle. Twinkle is one of my favorite words. I just like the way it sounds. I like the way it rolls off your tongue. <laughs> this pocket starts with summer. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. And features some imagery from some old books. Um, it's got a, a little notepad in here with a little brag closure. And there is a, a lovely moth right here. This uh, pocket says, Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without words and never stops at all. This says, I want you for the U.S. Army. This is one of those, um, one of the most common U.S. Army uh, posters. This one says today, this is Irene, and Irene's husband just upped and left her, and he told her when he left her that she would never amount to anything. Well, now Irene owns her own business. We can see her in her home typing on her typewriter, and she makes mega bucks. So good for you, Irene. The Spirit of the Red Cross. This is one of those super old buttons that still has the the thread in it that I love so much. A little um, movie poster, The Phantom of the Opera. This is Roarin' Ruby. And Roarin' Ruby is a singer during the Roaring Twenties. And we see her microphone right here. But she um, is considering courtship with a guy named Edward. But Edward has asked her to marry him, but she does not want to give up her music career. So you write the ending for Roaring Rosie right there. Quiet, comfortable, another little ode to just the nook, you guys. And you know what I'm talking about, just that comfort place in your home. You know, where is it? For me, it's my bed. <laughs> I love my bed at night. Um, I crawl in there really early and I can do some reading or writing or whatever I want to do. This is, uh, uh, we see a little bit of Coca-Cola memorabilia right here. Where do you want to tour? Where would you like to go? What would you like to see? The Coca-Cola um, plant is in Atlanta, Georgia, and they do tours down there. This shows two women working in an office at an old Xerox machine, and they both want to break free. There's a really pretty blue button right here. I don't think I put a word in here for this one, so we'll just have to imagine. Oh, there's some fish imagery in here, you guys. Lots and lots of fish imagery. This pocket says Embark. Um, this is some imagery from the old automobile books that I have. You know, who would have thought that a carriage would be not pulled by horses, but would be... Um, would would require an engine to go places. So these guys were embarking on an adventure that they would not have imagined. Uh, this is a lady, and she is gardening. The year 
at the, the years at the spring, the days at the morn, mornings at seven, the hillsides dew pearled, the larks on the wing, the snails on the thorn, God's in his heaven, all's right with the world. Mm, that's an ode to a summer morning, isn't it? This says love. Now, there's some Bertoli olive oil imagery in here. This is from a 1997 magazine. Um, I know that a lot of people love to cook together, and that's what I was thinking when I put this pocket together. They love to drink a little bit of wine. They love to light some candles, and then they do their cooking thing. Not me. Mm -mm. Nope. I don't want anybody in the kitchen with me when I'm cooking. <laughs> this pocket says friends, and there is a beautiful collie dog right here and a little kitty cat. This one says home, and I stuck a bunch of imagery in here. Beautiful tablescapes, uh, glasses, cookware, that kind of thing. This pocket says simplicity and elegance. Isn't that gorgeous? Do you see the little kitty up there? The little kitty on the shelf. This pocket says world. Now, this couple is seeing the world. They are having some cappuccino in Italy. There's a little bit of Italy ephemera stuck in here for you guys to play with. So there we go, my friends, three new flow pockets while we are waiting on the snow. Close your eyes. There we go. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks again for the support. It means so much to me. Y'all have a great Saturday. I'll talk to you soon.